house or leaks. This, this whole thing of uh, art being something that inspires hope in people. Uh, everyone has a possibility, I believe, to voice who they really are and what they are going through. Um, what I mean with being hopeful in our art and through our art doesn't mean that we could never utter our own fears. Like saying that, our, that fear is our enemy number one, loneliness and all that. Um, as a matter of fact, to bring it out and to voice the loneliness, to voice our fears, to voice our defeats, to voice the difficulties and challenges that we face can be hopeful because as we become real, as we discover what it is that is on the inside, even though it's not always pretty and always perfect and always good in mm -hmm. that sense, uh, we find that in all of that there is a sound that you can actually harmonize mm -hmm. with. With other words, when you hear that sound, and because you've heard that sound, so when I speak forth something that I'm afraid of, or the fears I have, or the defeats I've, I've lived through, or, or, or the things that I've, I've questioned and, and I'm doubting, or things that I don't have an answer for, as I voice that, which is art, mm. which is prophetic, which actually carries a seed of hope, <laughs> because on the inside of you, you'll hear that and you'll resonate with that. He says, yes, I know that because I've been there too, or I am there. Mm -hmm. And because, again, you cannot be a human all by your own. Yeah, yeah. And then when you discover you've got that same thing, there is there's something happening, there's a connection taking place. And that connection will actually look for an outlet that will look for there must be more mm. and there must be some hope in the devastation yeah. that we've gone through so because I think that is what life is all about look around nothing ends only in death mm. even death itself actually becomes the floor or the ground for new life mm. wow. So, there is no last word as death, as such. Mm -hmm. Because even in death, there is life. Mm -hmm. And that sounds like, like totally weird, but I think this, this is what it is. And I, I find, therefore, there is so much hope. Mm -hmm. in, in, even in, in art that, that talks about the atrocities mm -hmm. and the calamities and the, and the hardships of mankind, mm. there is hope. Mm. Um, actually, Desmond um, Tutu, Bishop Desmond Tutu, um, gave us, um, he was in Seattle just last Friday, and I, a good friend of mine went there, and he wrote down some thoughts. And, uh, and one of the things that Desmond, uh, Bishop Desmond Tutu actually said was, you know, when you look at the news, and also that is a, form of art mm. and you can say it's all negative it's all bad and that's true but maybe you look at it in a different way and the way he mentioned it is it is actually God's to-do list <laughs> that we are being handed every day constantly and I find yeah that's true um, it's God's to-do list and because God created us not just to passively wait for him to do something, mm. but he created us in such a way that he invited us with his creation of us to be involved mm. in creating with him. Yeah. We actually become part of the answer. Yeah. So you're on a roll and you're here in your heart, which is really great. How important do you think integrity and honesty is in the art? I think it is one... You can't eat with one chopstick. Have you ever tried to eat with one <laughs> chopstick? Just even, even two is very, hard. <laughs> very tough. 
So truth is one chopstick. Love is the other one. So integrity, truthfulness, honesty, when that merges with love, it will come out right. And I find that no matter what you do, I find personally that the times that I've either spoken in front of people or talked with a person or did music in, at a concert or something like that, translated people from one yeah. language into another <laughs> language, I find that things flow when I love. Mm. And I think that's how art will be as well. Art flows when you love. And wow. somehow that element of love must be there. Because if it's only truth, hmm. it becomes very harsh. Wow. But integrity is love. So being who you really are is being truthful to who you are on the inside mm. and being you know open towards that mm. that means that you really have started to love yourself wow so would you say that an artist has a has a responsibility then not not just to shoot from the hip in such a way that brings harm but also to actually bring that element of love in, into it as well is that i think it is um i think the artist will discover that very element because when he only shoots from the hip and we've seen that of course and art that happens mm. um, it will take another to see beyond and through that okay not to criticize or judge and to say you know it's not good art because there is not such a thing as not good art um, but it's to see beyond and to see the pain but then again it will take the other to love and that's why I believe uh. the artist must not be isolated. The artist, no matter who you are, no matter who it is, no matter who he or she is, uh, must be within relationship. And within that relationship, there will come understanding and the pain will be healed that makes the art maybe too hard. Wow. And so the pain will be healed through the relationships that there are. Mm. And that's where art becomes hopeful and needful. Wow. That's very profound. I'd like to say thanks Peter for sharing your heart. Yes. And uh, awesome. be, well, hopefully we can do another one sure. sometime as well. Yeah. That was really awesome. Thanks. You're welcome.